Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. One of you a lovely subscribers asked if I could do a video on how to layer your fragrance in order to make it last longer. And I said, okay. I have picked up some tips and tricks that I am more than willing to share with you guys to prolong the life of your fragrance. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. First step in making your fragrance last longer, Take a shower, wash your ass. <laughs> you definitely want to shower and get a clean canvas. Now I'm just gonna run through my personal shower routine and this is just what works for me. So starting out with a unscented body wash. This is from Dr. Bronner's and I absolutely love it. This is the baby one. And I use a silicone scrubber and I, I bust the suds up in there. So I really just like getting that first layer of dirt off of me. Once a week, I will use a physical exfoliant. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is their body scrub. This is this has 10% AHAs. This is a physical scrub, but it is fantastic. My skin always feels great when I use this. Once a week is all I need because I have alternative methods to exfoliating my skin. To maintain that beautiful soft skin by exfoliating, I end up switching over to this. This is the Alpha Skin Care Moisturizing Body Wash. Absolutely love this because it has vitamin E, aloe vera, and glycolic AHA. So I will use that with one of these uh, exfoliating gloves and this is kind of my exfoliating maintenance. It's not super, super harsh, but it gets the job done. It just maintains that beautiful soft skin. I use this about twice a week and I don't like exfoliating every day because I do feel like your skin, you need to treat it the same way you do your face. You don't need to exfoliate every day, but this is my mild kind of exfoliant and doing it every other day works perfectly for me. Now, if you are someone who actually plans out what perfume you're gonna wear for the day, you're probably gonna go in with a scented body wash. Now, I'm not the hugest fan of doing all the scented body washes and stuff because I don't have anywhere to put that stuff. And also on top of that, I really don't know what scent I'm gonna be wearing until I start getting dressed. It really depends on my fit, my mood, and the weather outside. But it kind of starts setting the base in order for your fragrances to last long. This one is from Dove. This is the Shea Butter and Vanilla. Nine times out of 10, this works pretty well with all of the fragrances that I use. My level of layering, is not top tier, okay? I'll just be trying to do the basics, but this one is something that I, I really do like. At this point, once you get out the shower, if you're just going directly in with your scented body lotions and body oils and stuff, you are doing it wrong. You need to moisturize your skin. And this is where a lot of y'all be messing up at, at least in my book. When it comes to the moisturification of my body, I like to go the unscented route because I feel like I need to prime my skin in order for my fragrances to last. So this is kind of like my priming routine. The same way you would with makeup, this is exactly what we're doing with body care. So once I turn off that water, I go in with the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Baby, I love this. This is my fifth or sixth bottle of this and it is delightful. You wanna put this on when you're wet, okay? And honestly, I stopped using towels because I just like air drying at this point. But this has argon oil and hyaluronic acid, and if you know hyaluronic acid, you need that water. It traps in the water. So this is why I really, really love using this. So I'll go in with this first. And then, this might vary for a person to person, but I have been loving putting body oil on before lotions. So if I'm just chilling, I'm just gonna use the uh, Vaseline Radiant Body Oil just to lock in that moisturizer and the water that was left on my skin. And I've been really, really loving the Taraji P. Henson Anything Glows um, Body Oil. I know in my review I was like, mm, I'm not feeling it. But I was putting it on top of body lotion and it works so much better on wet skin. There's something to it. It just gives me a nice amount of 
lip and slide action without feeling too heavy or greasy. So I've been really loving it. Like my bottle is down to here. I need to locate another bottle, but this does have a little bit of a vanilla scent, but once again, vanilla in my collection, it kind of goes with almost everything and it's not super heavy. Well, it is fragrance, but it's not gonna carry too much <laughs> on me. Once I put on my body oil, then I will go in with my body cream or lotion. So if it's hot outside, I'm gonna use Eucerin. This is the Daily Hydration Lotion. It's a very light formula. I don't like feeling heavy in the spring and summer when it comes to body lotions. So this is the reason why I really, really like this. But if it's nighttime or if it's winter time, oh baby, CeraVe is the way to go. This is their moisturizing cream. This has ceramides in it, so it's going to create those layers to lock in all of that moisture. This is a phenomenal cream. So I'm very serious when it comes to the moisturification of the body because I just feel like this is the part of the routine that I, a lot of people just don't do. It sounds very extra, but it makes a lasting impact on how your fragrances perform. Now let's get into the scented body oils. If I actually do know what I'm going to wear, I'm gonna go for a scented body oil. These are from uh, Brown Sugar Babe. I've done a review on these and these are actually really great. Unlike the regular body oils and lotions where I slather it all over my body, these I keep just for the exposed areas of my body because these are expensive, okay? I'm not using these every day, but when I want to amp up a specific fragrance, oh yeah, we're gonna use a body oil. The same theory goes with perfumed oil. This is from Ness and this is the Turkish Rose one. This is phenomenal. I like using these one of two ways. I'm either gonna put them on like my pulse points, tap it in, rub it in, let it dry, and just go about my business, or, like what most people do, I mix it with a body lotion. I really like doing this because when you buy body creams that are specific for a fragrance, they tend to have a shelf life. Usually it's like six months, maybe a year. So with this method, you can number one, control how heavily scented your fragrance is. And number two, it just lasts a little bit longer because you get more shelf life with your regular lotions versus the scented stuff. So I, I love using this and, and again, I only hit the areas that are exposed. Now with the perfume oil, I might do, I might cover my whole body because I only need a couple of drops of this and I can always repurchase this. The most obvious way to layer your perfume in order to make it last longer is to use the same scent. So if you have the fragrance in a body cream or shower gel, you want to layer it that way. So this is a great way to extend the longevity of your fragrance because these creams, have a, a pretty decent dose of the fragrance. Half the time you could just wear the fragrance, the cream and call it a day. Now you don't have to get this particular brand. Most brands have, you know, the shower gel, the cream, the oil and the fragrance. So layering these two together will 100% extend it. I love these two together and it's honestly the simplest way to layer fragrances. If you don't have the matching fragrance and body cream, what you can do is match things within the similar fragrance family. Take for instance, Delina. This is a beautiful rose fragrance. So if you know you're gonna be playing with the note of rose and you may not have Delina, hell, I don't have Delina, I have the other two sisters, but I don't have Delina. I can mix it with something that has roses in it. So this is Idola from Navitas, and this is a perfect way you can layer your fragrances and you don't necessarily have to have a coordinating set. Sometimes you can get away with, okay, it's a floral family. So any of your floral perfumes might actually go great on top of these. But you can also do, you know, mix and match, okay? Maybe you wanna put a gourmand under a, under a floral. 
child it's your world do what you want to do don't let me tell you <laughs> okay i'm just giving you what works for me now that our lotions and our potions are set down on the skin now we can focus on layering the actual perfumes now i think there are two different ways to layer and the second one a lot of people don't talk about but this first one yeah a lot of people talk about and that's just stacking them you want to put a good base of a fragrance at the bottom so for instance something very generic well you're not generic but you get it you get my drift you want something that is just going to be a nice base to put under your perfume this is kaoli vanilla 28 this pairs well with a lot of your gourmand fragrances so typically what a lot of people do is just spray their skin wait and then top it off with something else you might top it off with let's say killian's angel share because this has vanilla in it you want to enhance maybe the vanilla note that is in here do your research and look for fragrances that have similar notes case in point tell you about this layer in combination all the time parfums de marley meliora and initials musk therapy both of these have musk and black currant in it so these pair very well together if you utilize places like fragrantica or even just going to the sites you'll see what notes are in the perfume so you can kind of just figure out okay well if i mix this and this they should go together and that's exactly what happened with this particular layering combo you know sometimes you just want to enhance a note and sometimes they just pair together really really well the beauty of fragrances is you can choose whichever note you want to enhance now when layering your perfumes you want to put your heaviest fragrance down first and then your topper on top so if you are wearing something like venom of love it's not a heavy fragrance by any means but let's say i want to do venom of love and now i want to enhance the cherry in it i'll throw on lost cherry and they'll just melt together beautifully so this will bring out the cherry note in it or if i wanted to focus on more of the chocolate i might get orchid Vanille by van cleef and arpel just to bring out the chocolate it really depends on what note you're really trying to enhance when you're layering you gotta play around with but researching your notes that's how you're going to actually figure out what works for you another way to layer this is controversial but i still wanted to mention this because i use baccarat rouge as almost like a topper this is my sweetener in my coffee concoctions mind you i don't drink coffee I know this is an expensive topper, I, I get it, but because this has embroxin in it, it has the molecules in it. So it, this pairs very great with my skin. So if I'm needing to sweeten something up or, you know, extend some of my weaker performing perfumes, I will add this and it will kind of help with the longevity, not all the time, but it will kind of just give it a little, a little kick, a little oomph. So that's an honorable mention. Not a lot of people do that, but I personally like doing it because it just adds a little sprinkle sprinkle to it, okay? Now the final way to layer fragrances is for the elite. This is not for the beginners. This is strictly for the professionals. And this is when you combine fragrances next to each other the people who really take layering seriously the elite oh they're mixing more than two fragrances together you're going to be spraying both your body and your clothing okay so keep that in mind i take tobacco lore. i'm going to spray this on the back side of my body okay it's very strong huge tobacco scent right but i want to enhance it a little bit i want to throw on some lost cherry so i'm gonna hit the front of my body so you get that cherry liqueur so these two really play off of each other right but now i want to hit it with some sweetness but i'm only going to put this in my pulse points so i'll spray behind my neck in my crooks of my arms my wrists my knees my ankles i'll do that because when i go in to hug somebody i want them to nuzzle in 
right on my neck. So they'll get the sweet and spiciness of the Kaoli Vanilla 28, but they're greeted with the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And then when I walk away, you smell the tobacco lore and like, oh, we're gonna lock in some core memories. That, my friends, is some elite stuff. That is the difference when it comes to the top tier layering. You wanna spray them next to each other. You don't want them to mix. You want somebody to smell different things. Like, ooh, is it cherry that I smell? Oh, I think I smell tobacco. Oh, wait, it's, but when I hooked her, she was vanilla and sweet. That's what gets the party going, okay? People are like, what is that? And I feel like that is for people who really pride themselves in smelling unique. And I just feel like that's the fun part of fragrance when you can come up with your own little concoctions. And that's how your fragrance really lasts on the skin and also lasts in the memories of the people you encounter. I hope this was helpful. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.